Hey everyone, welcome to the Mastermind Book Club. Tonight we're reviewing a new book, a very short book actually, wildly short. It's a book that is called How to Live on 24 Hours a Day by Arnold Bennett. This book has impacted our lives. How? Well, we have a few members here who are going to tell you briefly what this book is about and how it's impacted them. Ty, would you like to start? Unmute yourself. Unmute yourself. Can you hear me? Yep. Okay, great. Thanks. Oh, okay. So what I got out of this book is basically to have a plan within my day and make sure that I follow that plan because even though I have a lot of other things to still do, within my day, just make sure the major stuff is basically done, you know, within that day so that I won't feel as though I missed something. So basically that's what I got out of it. Beautiful. Thanks. Thank you, okay. Ty. Ty. Gina? Okay. This book is, is based on a premise that we only have, well, we all have 24 hours in the day. Mm -hmm. And some of us like to say, we're going to put some off until we have enough time to do it and the author is saying you will never have enough time to do it because there is no extra time and we have 24 hours and that's it so just decide and pick some time out to do it um, he also mentions on in there um, about <clears throat> about the fact that um, sometimes Anyway, you guys go go on. Just go on. I just lost my train of thought. No worries, Gina. We'll come back to you. Charles. Basically, in the book by Arnold Burnett, he talks about flipping time frames. During the course of the day, we spend one third supposedly going to work, while the other two thirds we spend uh, sleeping and taking care of our family. What I learned from the book is that we definitely need to flip our time frames and be more focused on maybe uh, maybe developing a way to take more advantage of the time when we're not working. That's what I got out the book. Beautiful, Charles. Thank you. Thank you. And Martha? Yeah, um, for this book, uh, he's talking about the time management, that's what this book about it. And um, uh, Bennett say that everybody has the same amount of time, the basic word choice. What we want in life for pleasure, work, health, learning. It's no easy task to manage our time. We have to have sacrificing efforts for be elderly. He said the goals is to have a program to give you more energy, a strong and activity life into every single day and to be happy. That's Beautiful. what I got for this book. Beautifully said, Martha. Thank you. Thank you, Martha. Reggie. So what I'll focus on is this whole concept of time equals money. And the thing is we often think that in order for us to do more monetarily, we go and try to achieve getting more money. Right? And that's very doable by working more, by earning a higher salary, that type of thing. But if time equals money, I would have to argue that time is actually even greater than money because you can get more money, but you can't get more time. But if you make better use of your time, you can have everything come to you, not just money, but everything. So I say the key focus should be not about how much more money you can get and not necessarily how much more time you can get because you can't get more time but how much more you can do with your time because you're using your time accordingly and using your time appropriately will necessarily allow you to achieve much more of anything, money, your life being improved in different ways, you being able to do all the things or most of the things or a lot of the things that you would like to do simply because you've made better use of your time. Thank you, Reggie. Uh, Dave. Yes, Gina. Yes, I know what I wanted to say that um, the, the premise was also that we needed to use our time more efficiently since we don't get more time. And I think Martha said a little bit about that. 
uh, just the, the, the fact that we do not get enough, you know, more time than anybody else on this planet, we should just make sure that we use it more efficiently. Beautiful. Beautiful. Thank you, Gina. Everyone, when you wake up, if we, if we do wake up, we're given 24 hours for free. There's no better wealth than having 24 hours to be able to live, to enjoy, to do something. And one of the small things that we forget to do, which well, I just want to fill in the gap, each and, each and every one of you led to this. When was the last time you thought about what you really want in life, out of life? Most people don't get it. That's what Arnold Bennett tells us. But meditating, thinking about, pondering, taking a few minutes, even if you're on the train or, or if you're driving or, well, not driving, but, but if you're home, taking a few minutes out of your day, 30 minutes, an hour and a half, or, or how, how much you can spare to think about what you want. Meditation can bring you closer to grasping the time that Reggie talked about, right? It can also get you closer to scheduling what like Tawana mentioned. It can also get you closer to what Gina said about allocating time to do things. You don't have to do everything in life, but you have to do some things right? Charles said about flipping time and how time is in frames, but there's more focus needed. Just do one or two things and get them accomplished, just like Charles said. Then Martha went into a beautiful quote, which I didn't write down, but it was a beautiful quote. And this book offers immense knowledge in reference to that. And then Gina said, when are you going to make and manage your time more efficiently? Schedule it, put it on your calendar, put it in writing what you need to do, your top five things, your top 10 things, but don't overburden yourself. So this is the Mastermind Book Club. We're here every week reviewing a different empowering book, just as Arnold Bennett says, read a book. Listen to something that will change your life, that will improve your status. Maybe you will not become the billionaire you want, but at least the process is part of the goal. If you're in the process, you're in the possibilities of getting there. Until next week, where we're going to review another empowering book by the Mastermind Book Club. Take care.